Hey, hey, hello, fun and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Cambridge Trailer Mod, which is being made by user Plarex. And what this glorious little piece of work looks at into the game is a pretty awesome little player home for you to enjoy. And no, it's not inside the Cambridge Police Station. I mean, probably should have guessed that from the name, as it's inside the trailer outside of the station. And I love this thing. It's kind of an odd little player home, but it's honestly a perfect place for a survival player home. As it is a small, compact, little tiny home with all the amenities you could need and desire in a quite central location being over here in the Cambridge area, which is always a wonderful. And it has just a lot of cool little features, which we'll talk about here in a moment. But first, you gotta get inside the trailer. And that requires a key, which is quite easy to find. We are next door to the Cambridge Police Station, and you'll find the key inside the garage of the police station over by the door to the interior of the station there. It's quite visible, easy to locate. And with the key in hand, you just come on back out and head on in to your lovely new trailer home. And I love this thing. It's split into two areas with the main entrance way being sort of the uh, main living space with all of your various crafting stations and most of your storage. And the back section is your bedroom slash bathroom with some additional storage. Good times, good times. Now, as you can see in here, it's uh, pretty much all the space is used pretty nicely. And to fit a lot of things in here for the amenities, such as crafting stations, they have had to go with some custom stations. For instance, this is our weapon workbench, sitting right next to our armor workbench. So instead of having the larger, bulkier designs, you have these just nice, compact little stations ready to go just for you, which is pretty wonderful. But let's take a look at everything we have in here, starting with the right-hand side when you come in through the door. We do have a cabinet here for some just generic storage, a radio for entertainment, for any sort of sorted weapon parts. Well, you have a weapon parts container, a nice little custom container there, sitting, of course, conveniently next to the weapon workbench. Now, after that, of course, as I did show earlier, we have the armor workbench, but under it, again, for convenient storage, is armor parts. Then, directly next to that, we have the armor locker for storing any of the final products. Now we've got a pretty open space here, and then we have the custom chemistry station, which uh, is, well, chemistry. And inside the station here we have a first aid container for you to store your supplies. Now starting on the left hand side here, a lovely fire, wooden crate. This area here is for all your food storage, or at least most of it. We have a non-perishables container right there if you click on the pre-war boxes, as well as a cooler there for cooling things. And then we have our cooking stove, not a custom one because, well, this one already exists and it fits in quite nicely into the compact nature of this player home. And then we do have a refrigerator for, well, storing things and refrigerating them. Now, through the door here, we do have the bedroom area, starting on the left hand or right hand side, rather. I know my directions. We have a toilet for sitting, a water fountain for drinking, and then a locker for generic storage. We then have uh, just a normal little uh, nightstand here. Nothing too special about it, nothing custom there. But under the bed, we do have a duffel bag, foot locker, and suitcase for more storage. So, a pretty good amount of storage in this little place. We then also do have some ammo boxes, a weapon locker, and of course, the bed for sleeping. Now, you may be wondering why there's a fuse box here. Well, if it's such a tiny little home, how could you add lights? Well, thankfully, that's because this is also a workshop space. This whole trailer, not only do you have these lovely, convenient, custom-made things to fit in nicely, you can also edit this space to your heart's content. And uh, you may notice that there's no large, usual workshop uh, item in here, and that's because, like with these workbenches, we've got a custom one, this wrench on the wall. 
And there we go. We have the workshop and you can do whatever you want with the things in here. Build whatever you like. Take away the things you don't like. If you don't like this chemistry stand, scrap it. Build a normal one. Don't like the refrigerator? Get rid of it. Build another. You have all the options you'd like. And I love that. And of course, with the fuse box there, we do have a hundred power inside this little trailer for you to string up lights or do any other electrical things you may wish to have. And that's all pretty darn cool. So you don't only get a convenient little player home, you've got customization. Now, as for another fun feature here, and that is the storage. Say, for instance, you are in your survival gameplay and just sort of wandering by the Cambridge Police Station. You don't feel like going through the loading screen to enter your home. You just want to drop off some stuff. Well, you can do that from outside the trailer. There is a lovely convenience spot just next to the trailer where you can drop off any excess items you don't need on your person anymore, and it will go into the workshop storage for the player home. And I love that. It's such a convenient little feature that I wish a lot of other player homes did use. Now, you'll find this over here. Just down in the parking lot, we have a cooking station. Where if we transfer something into, you'll see we have nothing in there right now. Let's throw in some mole rat meat and then head back on in to the trailer. And we'll now find that mole rat meat I just placed in there. Well, now conveniently... Oop! meant to there we go the wrench is a little bit hard to hit there we are we now have the mole rat meat in here as well and that does of course mean all of your storage in this place for any weapons armor modifications etc are also available to you in the outside world without ever having to come in here now there are a few little oddities and they're really just more of Eh, kind of hard to access things and for instance with the wrench because the wrench is just literally that tiny wrench for the workshop It can be difficult to click it granted I mean you can always just use uh, the hotkey to enter the workshop mode But just you know, let you know it is kind of awkward to hit I wish it was that whole plate there rather than just the wrench when there's a similar issue with the weapon workbench as well as the armor workbench. I mean, technically, it's supposed to be this whole bench here. But you can see as I move around my mouse, it's not accessible from every point. So it can be a little bit finicky to grab the thing. Now, personally, I found looking at the guns and bullet magazine here is the easiest way to access the weapon workbench. And right there in between that blueprint and that bit of metal seems to be, for me, the easiest place to access the armor workbench. And as for the chemistry one back here, uh, it's the same deal, just a lot of uh, finickiness with accessing it. And I found selecting the stim pack there, or more specifically, the syringe of it, is the easiest way to access that. So I wish the uh, actual, I guess, the collider for accessing that was a little bit less finicky. But otherwise, it's a lovely little player home. Again, with all the amenities in this tiny little tractor trailer with the ability for you to make it into your own lovely home. So if you'd like to check out this mod for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed and yet do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.